we're working on teaching Violet to hop in her bed today. So the first thing I'm going to do is be ready to put down her bed and if she hops in on her own, which does happen sometimes, I'll be ready to mark it by saying the word good when her body is inside the bed and then feed from my high value treats that are hidden in my hand and I'll try to feed her in position on the bed. All right, here goes the bed. Good. I paused for a moment to see if she'd give more than two paws in the bed, but I didn't want to miss it. So I went ahead and marked two paws in the bed. That won't always happen. Sometimes you'll put your dog, um, you'll put your dog's bed down good and nothing will happen. The dog will just stare at you. If that happens, don't worry. I'm going to show you what to do next. Violet. Okay. I use the word okay, which she doesn't understand yet, to encourage her to come out of the bed towards me because I want to have a way to release her. So let's say your puppy isn't as excited as Violet. Good, Violet. What you're going to do if your puppy just stared at the bed or stared at you when you put it down is you're going to point your hand at the bed quickly. You're going to have some food hidden in the palm of your hand just in case you need it. So first thing you're gonna do is just point and then drop your hand back. I don't want you to point and hover and lean over the bed because that just tells the dog to go ahead and investigate your fingers. Ready? Okay, Violet. Point at the bed and I wait. Good, she hops in. I mark and feed. Lily, could you go over there, please? So what would I do if Violet had looked at my finger or still not moved? I would have taken that hidden piece of food in my hand and while I was pointing, dropped it back on the bed. Ready, Violet? Point, drop is what I would have done. I didn't have to do that with Violet, but that's your plan if your puppy or your dog isn't following your hand. So now we just need some repetitions. Good. If I see my puppy go ahead and hop in on her own, I can do what's called capturing. Mark and feed for the behavior that I want. What I'm going to try to do as I move on is to mark and feed good in position and then release her before she releases herself. Okay. Good job. And you'll notice when I release her with the okay, I'm not rewarding her with food. I'm just praising and petting. I don't want it to be just as rewarding to get out of the bed as it is to stay in. Ready? Good. is me just letting her think for a second. This last one, I let my hand sort of hover for a moment because I could tell she wasn't really watching when I first put it out. But on that one, she was definitely watching and I wanted to give her a chance to think it through. She did just release herself though, since I'm busy talking to the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more to get that release in before she releases herself. Okay, Violet. She's getting tired. Come on now, good job. Ready? Violet, one more. Point. Good. Nice reward. I'm letting her chew and release. Okay. Good job, Violet. And that's how you start teaching your puppy to go to bed. We'll work on duration and distractions another day. That's how you start.